Is this my face? Or this one? Or maybe this one? Guess what? The face you're seeing in this video is not really mine. That's right. I used an easy to install all in one deep fake tool to swap my face. And you can do it too. Today, I will show you how to set up this fantastic tool. I talked about it before, but today's version is even better. It's the unleashed version. There has been a destructive force unleashed on this town such as I have never seen. If you're curious about the original, check out that video here. But today, we're stepping it up a notch. And there's more. I'll be showing you some live examples right here in this video. You'll see how fun and easy it is to use this tool. Are you ready to create some deep fake videos? Stay tuned. Let's get started. First, you'll need Visual Studio. If you follow my channel, chances are you already have this installed because most AI tools require this. If not, go ahead and download and install Visual Studio. The link is in the description. When installing Visual Studio, be sure to select Desktop Development with C++ and game development with C++. After installing Visual Studio, you'll want to restart your computer to complete the install. Next, we will be installing Roop Unleashed. Go to this GitHub page, but don't worry, it has a one-click installer, so you won't need to mess around with command lines and terminals. Click on the green code button and from the drop-down menu, click download zip. Save the file onto your hard drive that you want to install Roop Unleashed in. For me, it will be on my F drive. Open File Explorer and head over to your drive with the Roop Unleashed zip file. You can right click extract all or you can double click on to your zip file like this. Then click and hold down on this Roop Unleashed main folder and drag and drop it into your F drive like this. All right, once you've got Roop Unleashed installed, you can delete the zip file. You won't need it anymore. Here's a quick tip. Make sure there are no spaces in your folder names. Spaces can cause errors and we want to avoid that. Now, head over to Roop Unleashed main folder. Inside, you'll find another folder labeled installer. In there, look for the Windows Run Bat file and click on it. You might see an error message pop up. Don't worry, it's common. Just click more info and a run anyway button will appear. Click that to proceed. Remember, seeing this message is normal when running more bat files. If you're feeling cautious, you can right click on the bat file and select edit. This opens the file in notepad, letting you see exactly what it does. But if it looks gibberish, there's an easy solution. Head to virustotal.com. This website uses loads of virus scanners to check files. Just drag and drop the bat file there. It'll tell you if it's safe or not. And there you have it. Our file is totally safe. Now you can confidently finish up the installation. But hold on, there's something else to remember. Sometimes virus scanners might flag a false positive. If that happens, it's key to be cautious. Here's what you can do. Go back to where you originally downloaded the file. If it's from a reputable source like GitHub, it's likely just a false alarm. A good tip is to check the community tab or forums, see what others are seeing, and make sure everything is up and up. Once you've double checked and feel confident, you're all set to continue. Setting this up takes a bit of time. Feel free to grab a coffee or take a break while it installs. Once it's done, root will pop up in your default browser automatically. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's say you close root but want to open it again later. No problem. Just run the same dot bat file from the installer folder it's that easy and here's a handy tip running the file won't reinstall everything instead it'll check for updates if it asks you to update just type y and hit enter if there are updates Roop will get them sorted if not it'll start up as usual all right now that we've got this sorted out we are ready to go over the settings i'm going to be honest with you there are a ton of settings here for you to explore but the default settings is usually what works best however if you go into the settings tab you'll see themes to be honest most of these are terrible Brad. But that's my opinion. For me, I just add this to the end of the URL, like this, to enter into dark mode. However, if you look here at provider, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you should see CUDA, which is what we want to use. If not, use CPU. As I mentioned, all the default settings work best for me. Feel free to adjust the settings according to your preference. Now, back to the face swap tab. All right, let's look into the two important boxes in the Root Unleashed program. First, there's a box labeled source files. Think of this as the face box. This is where you'll put the photo of the face you want to use in your deepfake. Just drag and drop the image right into this box. Then we have the target file box. This one's for your video. You'll put the video you want to deepfake into this box. It's like telling the program, hey, this is the video I want to change. So remember, source files for the face, target file for the video. Once you've got those set, you're on your way to creating some face swap magic. But wait, scroll down and under post processing, I like to use GFP GAN. However, use whatever post process you want. Now, click start and let the magic begin. The time this 
this takes varies. It depends on your target video and the power of your computer. If your computer is a bit older, brace yourself. It might take a while, but trust me, the wait is worth it. When everything is done, you should end up with something like this. Pretty cool, right? This video focused mainly on deep fake videos, but guess what? With Roop Unleashed, you can also deep fake images. Like I said at the start, it's an all in one tool. To deep fake an image, it's super simple. Just drag and drop your image into the target box. Yep, it's the same process as with a video, but using an image this time. Hit start, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about something super important the ethics of using deep fake technology. It's cool stuff, but it's also powerful, so we've got to use it responsibly. There's a line between fun and misuse creating funny videos cool but using deep fakes to trick or harm others not so cool we've got to stay on the right side of the law and do the right thing just be a good person so let's enjoy the tech and be mindful about how we use it keep it fun and keep it legal you know what i'm saying now personally i haven't run into any real major issues with roop unleashed but there was one issue that i had that i like to point out and one of those issues was i used stable diffusion to generate faces for me to use some of these faces is didn't register with root take a look at this for example when i tried to use this face it didn't register properly as you can see here compared to the face that root unleashed registers now when you drag and drop your faces into the source box you'll know right away if it will work or not by looking here and seeing if root unleashed registered the face another issue that i had was in my settings i tried using the h264 settings and couldn't get it to work which is why i mentioned that the default settings worked best for me so so we've just taken a peek at what Roop Unleashed can do and let me tell you it's just the tip of the iceberg. This tool is packed with power. Loads more features are waiting for you to explore. Think about things like a live cam setting. Yes you heard that right live cam. Plus there's a face management area and that's just the start. But today I focused on giving you a solid foundation with Roop Unleashed. I wanted to make sure you get comfortable with the basics first. Once you've got these down you'll be all set to dive into the more advanced stuff. Remember Roop Unleashed is more than just a tool. It's a gateway to end this creativity but as always use this power wisely and ethically if you run into any issues or have any questions the best way to get support is directly on the github page under the issues tab and hey if you enjoyed this video and found it useful give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more cool ai tech tutorials just like this don't forget to explore all those advanced features in roop unleashed hopefully i'll see you in the next video